able to live stream their most embarrassing moments on purpose. They're filming their own lowlights, their own worst ups for the montage of shame. Things most people would want buried forever, they are proudly with a smile on their face broadcasting to their audience for content. Today an extremely trashy stream clip has gone viral with a streamer named Elisa Jordana firing up a live stream after learning that her boyfriend has been cheating on her. I'm going to go through most of what happens in the stream, but the clip everyone's seen, which we'll get to towards the end, is at the very end of the stream, it's about 2 hours and 20 minutes, she gets her boyfriend in the car, and then she starts attacking him while she's driving. So she starts physically hitting him. And then she hits him very hard in the nose, like a full- Yeah, I've seen that. She was like, fuck. If y'all haven't seen the clip, I don't even know- It was quite a wallet. Like, if she was playing that boxing bag game that you see at bars where it measures your punch- and it, like, grades your force up to 999, she probably would have scored, like, a 700 with that strike. So it <laughs> definitely could have caused some damage. Yeah, that was a hard she strike. She's had bomb. She, she smacked the hell out of his face. She grabs on his ear and starts pulling on it, and then he starts fighting back. So he starts fighting her. He starts yanking on her hair, telling her to stop the car. And she does stop the car. He continues yanking and pulling on her. She gets out of the car. He gets out of the car, chases her down. And then he gets back in the car and turns the stream off. Without a doubt, one of the worst live streams I can think of in recent memory. It's hard to watch. It's awful. It's it's crimes. Like you're you you're watching crimes unfold. He lied so much to me. He lied so much to me. Oh my god. Zooks, what in the fuck would possibly possess you to want to start a live stream after learning something so heavy? That makes no sense. How poisoned must your brain be to possibly come up with an idea like this? Learning that your boyfriend has been cheating on you, and then immediately turning it into a stream for content? That's incomprehensible. I don't understand why people want to broadcast every every single waking moment of their lives to a bunch of strangers online for real bro who are just gonna sit back tossing popcorn down their gullet because it's just entertainment to them even though it's your life that's being ruined in real time why do that fucking jack bauer couldn't torture me enough to force me to go live after learning something like this he could put all the jumper cables he wants on my nipples and scrotum i still wouldn't do it because it's it's a horrible thing to want to put out there i couldn't even imagine just firing up the stream hey guys this one's gonna be a little bit different than usual turns out she's getting piped by another man right now they're steaming ham as we speak oh thanks for the six dollars Charlie's girl is slobbering on my meat. Ha ha ha. <laughs> I'm spending her money on Venmo. Yeah, but why are you surprised? I'm not surprised, Brandon. I'm not surprised. Actually, I've been paying her that way for a year. I just don't get why you would cry over him, dude. Like, okay. You already got money. You already supposedly got money from him. I did, but he still was very bad. Yeah, so what do you think would happen if you're going to marry him this and that? I'm not marrying him, Brandon. I'm obviously not marrying him. Yeah, but I'm saying if you... Is she good? She goes for this joy ride, or lack thereof joy. Is she like... It's the most distracted driving I've like, ever seen. No exaggeration. She doesn't even pretend to be paying attention to the road. She is glued to her phone or reading the chat, I believe, because she does get donations. She has text-to-speech enabled, so she is getting donations throughout this stream. And she is always looking at something other than the road. That is extremely dangerous, not only to herself, but all of the people on the road around her. And you can see that she busts out that crazy U-turn and gets honked at because that came out of fucking nowhere like a jump scare to all the other drivers. This is just, it's unhinged. This is, again, unacceptable. It's illegal. You can't be driving like this. I understand she's upset after finding out her partner's been unfaithful. Anyone in the world would feel the same way. But not many people in the world would handle it the way she is by starting up a fucking live stream for people to be tuned in on with everything. Not only is she very dangerously behaving here on the road, but she then starts just dropping all kinds of personal information publicly. Just publicly revealing a lot of things that 100% should stay private. Why is that enough? I'm going to buy tankers. 
that would actually hit hard right now. All right, let's do that. Hangers out last. Let's, let's go on a shopping spree. If you find your way home, Corgi ate JSK. Not that much money left. Spend this money. Sparrows for everyone? Another lore dump for you for why she drove to the mall here. It's because she had his wallet and stated she wanted to go on a bit of a shopping spree with his cards. And then on stream, she actually opens his wallet and shows his driver's license and says, should I, th should I drop his cards in the Discord? So threatening to also just show his cards to her community. She then takes money out of his wallet and says, should I buy food for everyone? Those are all crimes. Again, you're, you're compiling evidence against yourself. You're doing the police's job for them. You are actually showcasing criminal activity. Now, unless I miss something, she doesn't actually spend any of his money. She doesn't actually use any of his cards there. She just makes the threats that she could and would do so. She does, however, actually open his wallet, and you can see his driver's license clearly because she's bouncing it around like something out of the Disney Channel. So you can see that. That is I crazy. To make out any of his other cards. But regardless. This whole thing should have never been put online. I don't know why she made the decision to start streaming this. Again, she does have text-to-speech donations enabled, so it's possible that this is all just to get some like money from people that are sympathizing with her because she's she's going through something horrible. Getting cheated on sucks. But the way she's handling it is... I forgot I have touch enabled, screen. So it's possible that this is all just to get some like money from people that are sympathizing with her because she's she's going through something horrible. Getting cheated on sucks. But the way she's handling it is fucking awful. She's distracted driving, dangerously putting other people's lives at risk on the road, threatening to commit some criminal actions live, and then it ends with her assaulting him, physically assaulting him live. Like, this is a horrible fucking stream. Screen, he saw it all. Discord's stupid. A lot of people say that, right? So, um, all of Squirrel's private information is, well, uh, Sarah's phone number, Sarah's address, her full name, her Venmo account transactions are all she's the donated five dollars. She's girl. She's a Mexican girl, huh? It sounds as though Elisa has fully doxed the guy. Yo, I, why, yeah, why is that thing so on my screen? All of their private information in her Discord, which is illegal. You can't do that. I also think it's worth mentioning, since you caught a glimpse of it there, any time that girl, Sarah, is brought up during this stream, both Elisa and the community of pay piggies that's donating to her always make sure to mention that she's Mexican. And they make statements in the chat about that as well. Throughout the stream, reading the chat... Is that not crazy, bro? What the hell? Racism <laughs> is fucking sickening. Yeah, FYI, February... I'll call Sarah, you fucking bitch. I'm gonna fucking kill you. I'm gonna fucking kill you. I'm fucking kill you. I'm fucking kill you. Sorry, sorry, February. sorry. You have shit hands. My private Okay, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna talk about the bad uh, topic. Well, I should talk about it. No, I, 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 I'm gonna stop talking about it. Okay, good. No, it's not okay. Right, you ever been cheated on for two years with you know a 20-year-old Mexican? I'm not, I'm I doubt it. This happens shortly before the viral what? clip from this stream where she starts hitting him in the car. So prior to them getting in the vehicle, she pushed him outside and it was actually observed by someone who confronted her about it because in this instance, her violent outburst was in broad daylight in view of public and bystanders. So someone came up to her, I believe it was an officer, and talked to her about it. And even during this talk, Elisa still finds a way to mention that the other girl is Mexican. Hello? Hi, Sarah, how are you? How are you, Sarah? Hi. Thanks so much for calling. So I'm just going to send you like six months of texts of uh, huh? news and, you know, different sentences that he... Uh, I cut out the ending here because it, it 
It's a lot. Like, even this much, I don't even know if YouTube will allow me to show. I'm really not sure. I it's hope really Twitch doesn't have a sucks. problem with it, because I'm so like... So, she hits him a couple of times. The nose hit, by far, being the biggest blow. And then, after where I cut it off, he grabs her hair and starts yanking and pulling on her. And she starts talking about how he's killing her. And then the car stops. And then, eventually, she gets out of the car. He chases her down. I think she gets in another vehicle in the background. And then he comes back into the car and turns the stream off. It's fucking, it's a horrifying thing to watch, to be honest. As yeah, I did now, see the clip Lisa yesterday. has been arrested. Her mugshot and booking information is all out there for this incident. There's no update on the guy or what's going on with that part of all of this. But what a fucking awful live stream. Now, on Twitter, there's been a lot of debate about this video on whether or not the man's actions were justified in this situation, and most people are saying that they were, claiming that he was acting in self-defense. And it seems like the law would agree with them on that take, because from everything I can find, he hasn't been booked or charged with anything. Now, I think it's important we remember that the guy in this video is no saint. He cheated on his significant other. That is the behavior of a piece of shit. But under no circumstances does anyone deserve to be beaten like this. He's not a good guy, but he is still the victim of an assault. And I think all of the video evidence suggests that this was a case of self-defense. He didn't lash out at her or strike at her until she went in again for like the third or fourth time assaulting Yeah, that was like the and fourth or fifth, bro. he bruh. did play it back. Now, I do think there is a case to be made that he may have taken it too far because he does yank and pull on her for quite some time, even once the car comes to a complete stop. So I think he probably could have gotten out of the car at that point and just left it entirely, left the situation entirely, but I also don't know the entire situation on where it was stopped, if it may have been dangerous to do so, I don't know. But overall, I do agree that this does seem to be him defending himself like from getting attacked in this vehicle. Overall, this was a fucking awful live stream. And I really don't think this is going to be the last of its kind that we oh, see. Oh yeah, I gotta, it, I'm gonna end stream anyways. So. Feels like it's getting more and more common with people wanting to live stream every moment of their lives, even the worst parts of it. So there'll probably be more things like this in the. Chat, this is a 